Good morning, good morning, good morning to all. It's a birthday, it's a birthday. Hurry in from the hall. Sit down, sit down, put the books on the shelves. We're ready to share this Friday, March 2nd, 2012. CBTV News is about to begin. CBTV News will make you grin. Join us, join us, join us today. It's a fabulous, spectacular party. Please stay. My name is Emily, your host, you see. Your host, I'm excited, excited to be. There's a birthday, a birthday, I wonder for who? A birthday, a birthday, a birthday for you? It's a birthday for a guy and his cat who prances around in a big stinking hat. His birthday is special, but it will wait. Our student news is waiting, I can't be late. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye, announcing the news. So much is happening, here's your preview. Codwell's All Star Saturday campus tomorrow. For the students that come there, your brain I'd like to borrow. They learn more reading and they learn more math. They come away smarter and cleaner, like we gave them a bath. The first grade is finished reading the My Robot Story. And they build their own robots that are quite hunky-dory. Today is the famous robot parade, the famous quite shameless robot handmade. Come one, come all, it's at two o'clock. You might see some robots with dreadlocks. Fourth graders, you did it, you triumphed, you won! The FCAT rights is over and we're glad that you're done. Three cheers for you because you wrote so hard, but at least it's better than swimming and lard. Speaking of swimming, they didn't swim, they ran. As fast as they, as fast as they, as fast as they can. Berta was there and she ran too. Now for a report, it's all about you. Hi everyone, I'm Berta outside at our sixth annual walkathon to raise money for our school. As you can see, it was another gorgeous day outside and everyone is having an amazing time. Students asked family and friends to pledge money based on the number of laps they are able to complete today. So, more laps, more money. Let's see how many laps some of our students have ran today. I ran 13 laps. I ran 14. 12. 19. 19. That's a lot. That's a lot of laps for our students. Look at everyone go. Wow, they can run fast. Walking and running is exercise that everyone needs daily. Keeping our bodies physically fit keeps our minds physically fit as well. Students, teachers, and parents all came out to get fit and raise money for Caldwell PTA. The PTA would like to thank all the students and families that made today a successful fundraiser. Gotta run Cubs, see you later. Berta is awesome and fast, you saw. I bet she could beat my own grandpa. Another delightful news you'll know is that we live in Florida, so it's not going to snow. It's here, it's here. National Anthem Day, it's here. There seems to be some confusion. Can Emily make it clear? March 3rd is National Anthem Day. Wait one minute. I thought we already had National Anthem Day in September. We did celebrate a national anthem then because September 14th is when Francis Scott Key wrote the words after the War of 1812. Then why is there another day in March? This doesn't make sense to me, Emily. A few people incorrectly assume that National Anthem Day is September 14th, the day the song was written. This is incorrect. National Anthem Day is every March 3rd in celebration of the day that our United States Congress made the Star Spangled Banner our national anthem in the year 1931. Whoa, it's been our national anthem that long? Yes, 81 years. But the song of it is older than that, right? Well, if the song was written in 1812, how old is it? While she figures that out, let's head back to Emily. Maybe you can figure it out faster than Britta. Thank you, Emily. You are so smart. Sweet Britta can run, but her math needs a jump start. All this fun is making me grumble. My tummy is empty. Did you hear it rumble? There is our lunch for today. Listen up quickly. I'm afraid I'll eat it right away. Pizza, oh pizza, you sound so yummy. Our fruit and yogurt salad. That sounds good for the tummy. Maybe PB&J and Crustable will do. I bet the cows would eat them and then go moo. Today is a birthday, a birthday. For who? Take a guess, take a look, I will count to three. Can you guess, will you guess, or who could it be? A famous man, I tell you, he's dear. 
He rhymes, he chimes, and he'll tickle your ear. Reading is his passion for us, cause he loves kids to read. So don't make a fuss. Haley, are you there? Haley, are you there, you say? Now it's time for Haley to take it away. NEA's Read Across America is an annual reading motivation and awareness program that calls for every child in every community to celebrate reading on March the 2nd, the birthday of the beloved children's author, Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Dr. Seuss's real name was Theodore Seuss Geisel. He was born on March 2nd, 1904 in Springfield, Massachusetts. He died in 1991. He was an American book writer and illustrator best known for his books for children. His famous books include Clever Rhymes, Drawings of Make-Believe Creatures with Silly Names, and Nonsense Words. Theodore Seuss Geisel had no formal training in art and his first book was rejected by 27 publishers before it finally was published to become an instant hit. This book is titled and to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street. Dr. Seuss believed in himself and did not let anyone hold him back. Reading can take you anywhere. Children who read 20 minutes every day are proven to be more successful than those that don't. So let's celebrate the birthday of Dr. Seuss today by picking up your favorite book and enjoy the gift of reading. Happy birthday, Theodore. Thank you for the incredible gift you left us. Haley did it. She told you she did that it's his birthday, and I'm glad that she did. That's all for us. This wraps up the show. I'll package for you with a great big bow. Break out the books, start reading right now. Read to your dog, your cat, or your cow. Have a great weekend. Be nice to a friend. My name is Emily, and this is the end.